Good morning, Bob Sekolder, Louisville Real Estate Show, News Radio 840 WHAS. Good morning. Hi, Bob. This is Jennifer, and yeah. I've got a question for you. Okay. We're considering putting our house on the market. Uh, given how quickly homes are selling for nowadays, and we have small children going to school, is there a possibility of putting a clause on um, when you sell a home that would give you some va- some vacate rate or time frame, maybe 20 days from post-sale of home for you to vacate? Okay, so that, that's a great question, and there are a lot of uh, clients here locally and around the, the, the country who would love to get more extended time. Great. Oh, yeah. You and our, all of our agents, we got 20 agents, write contracts. It's, it's the old post-possession. Um, mm-hmm. It's a clause where you're asking for time in the house before or after closing. There's multiple ways to do it. Um, so, yes, there is a clause that you can write. Get with your agent. If you know a good agent, we've got a couple. <laughs> um, uh, we certainly know how to do that for you. But uh, that's, it's, it's a simple clause where you're writing it in, saying that you need X amount of days before or after on either side of the closing. And um, you can do it both ways. I might be getting ahead of myself. But. but let me just say that there are some guidelines. So asking for 20 days can be difficult okay. because most buyers want to move in either the day of possession or within a couple of days if you can get them to agree to that. So two or three days post-possession, that's pretty standard. Uh, But anything further, they're going to probably either turn down or they're going to ask you to pay a per diem of what their monthly mortgage is divided by the number of days in the month. And as Lee can tell you, there can be some uh, sticky legal implications if things go awry, right? Sure. I think what you need is a good post-occupancy agreement that would cover who's insuring the property, um, whose possessions are there, who's covering that. Uh, is there going to be any money escrowed for damages that might occur, um, you know, when you're moving out and that kind of thing? So, yeah, it's <coughs> – pardon me. It gets you choked up. Lee, looking at the uh, the form that's online to GLAR, is that legit or should we go with an attorney like yourself to have one written up? I have one that you can have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you, I got you. You have one you can have. You want to go get a drink of water while we go to the next question? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Poor Lee. Poor Lee just are all choked, choked up. up listening yeah. to that, right. these circumstances. Isn't that yeah, amazing? You, you and, definitely oh, want to make sure you check with your lender as well. And do check with your lender. What are the restrictions from a lender's side, Brian? Uh, I, it, for some odd reason, I'm 90% confident 60 days. So you have 60 days to make sure that, that you get occupancy. Yeah, because you're actually signing an occupancy agreement in your closing package, ah, right? Oh, yeah. That's a very good point. All right. Good to stuff to know. All right.